Okay family, so um, I was supposed to do this video last week. It was requested, but of course I've been very busy. <laughs> okay, www.celestatarreaders.com Let me tell you while I eat my breakfast because I'm so hungry um, about the lady who disappeared in, um, was it Bahamas at the yoga retreat? Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Let's, let's grab some wine. It's lunchtime. Froggy baby, you'll love this one. Mm, you'll love this one. This one smells like Christmas cake. Jeff, it smells like Jamaican Christmas cake with sherry in it. Mmm. <laughs> good. Hold on. Okay. So, family, this lady went missing in Bahamas. Her name is Taylor, and um, I had some of the uh, some of her close friends or, or uh, people contact me, but in the last 24 hours, some new information has come. Some very pertinent information, actually has come to light all right and um, basically Taylor uh, her mom and her I think it's her mom and her sister went out to the Bahamas to go look for her Taylor went missing she went to a yoga retreat right and there's been quite a lot of dodgy stuff being said about you know these retreats and all that type of thing okay thank you thank you with people who have gone missing and all that kind of stuff right okay so she goes missing mum goes to the island sister goes to the island to go look for her you know bring back my daughter bring back my daughter well family and she disappeared without a trace okay but family it now seems as if her daughter is actually her son and nobody thought that that was pertinent enough information to to tell anybody but obviously if you're looking for a missing person you have to say the gender of the person it's not yeah people have a right to describe themselves as they want to describe themselves okay transgender etc but they never said they were looking for a transgender woman they just said they were looking for a woman so when it comes to looking for missing persons and if there was if there was god forbid the discovery of a body and they discover a man's body they wouldn't think it's taylor because y'all said that it, she is she she is a she now on top of that family unfortunately we're dealing with the caribbean and baby there's all holy puttings that go down in the Caribbean and you know thank God people are not as homophobic and as you know as they used to be but still there's a lot of things that have not changed there's a lot of homophobia and just different values and ideals to to the West and to America and to Europe and so on a lot of things that go go down in the USA cannot go down in the Caribbean openly openly okay there's a lot of hypocrisy and secrecy and stuff like that and a lot of the elites in the caribbean are homosexual there's a lot of gay politicians and all this type of thing but 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 by and large these are conservative caribbean folks whether it be barbados excuse me bermuda jamaica not barbados i think barbados is pretty liberal trinidad guyana st kitts grenada jamaica you know all of them countries they tend to be a little bit more conservative and so you can't be openly gay and out there or, or a transsexual without people <clears throat> pointing their finger and scorning you or shunning you or whatever 
okay? Or I'll take you for joke. Okay, like you're there for entertainment. Okay, because we have a lot of uh, Caribbean comedy where there's a lot of transsexual actors or actors who dress as women and it's all, you know, laughing and fun and joke. But when it comes to relationships with people, if you date somebody and they don't know that you're transsexual, I'm not saying this is the case for Taylor. I ain't pulled no cards. But the mummy, mummy did not say that Taylor was actually her son. And so this is very, very important. Anyhow, let me have a quick read of, and I'll show you the picture of Taylor. Because I never knew that she was a man. Okay, or transsexual. All right, so I got some screenshots of her here. All right, now this is from News Nation. You can go over on YouTube and have a look. This is their thumbnail here. And it's, it's talking about the Bahamas, the Bohemian police chief was placed on leave. And they're linking that to Taylor going missing. But the Bohemians are saying that the man being placed on leave ain't got nothing to do with Taylor. But I'm gonna show you a picture of Taylor here. She do look like a woman. Hold on a second, one second, one second. Okay, family, so here she is, okay? Okay, this is, this is Taylor, and she is still missing. Nobody has been found. She's evaporated, disappeared into thin air. Now, two things. They're saying that she took her passport and her phone. Now, it's not unusual for someone to go, she's on an island, she may have gone, you know, for a, a, a beach walk or whatever. It's not unusual for her to take her passport with her. But some people are saying, well, if she had her passport, was she traveling? Was she, you know, going across somebody's border, going into another country, another adjoining island? Bahamas is not far from... I've never been to Bahamas. But it's the Caribbean, so every, everywhere is close by, more or less. You know, half a day sailing and you can be in another, you know, another island and this, that. And there are lots of private islands around the place. Maybe, and nobody's questioning the people at the yoga retreats. This is another thing. There was an Asian lady who went missing a few months ago at a yoga retreat went out on, and sailed on a boat with somebody and um, basically the, the other person came back but she didn't the other person lawyered up and this woman is still missing I don't think they even found a dead body so there is some theories out there that Taylor may have met somebody she may have had a little boo a little boyfriend out there could have been part of the, the yoga folks the yoga cult if you if you want to call it that because I don't know anything about this yoga group in particular European ones I could tell you a little bit more about uh, and, and my interactions with them but this one in the Bahamas I don't know anything about whether she had a relationship with anybody there whether she got you know close on a spiritual level and they meditate together or they did their stretching together whatever I don't know also, there is the possibility that Taylor could have met herself a Bahamian man, a little boyfriend out there. And Mrs. Y'all know about the Caribbean men them, right? You know, some of them dreadful and wicked and terrible. And them have only for woman and, and only for man. But that is separate to what would happen if they dated Taylor because she looked like a woman I've seen the full length photo of her I think coming off a plane or something she had on a nice long dress you know she got the pretty curly hair she dyed the front of it whatever she got a bonnet on or bandana she's she's femme she's femme presented 
Yeah, she ain't even got no damn Adam's apple or nothing like that. There's some other photos of her I'm gonna show you. But she looked like a woman. If you used to see her in Bahamas in the market shopping, or if you see her at the hair salon, or if you see her having her nails done and a manicure, a pedicure, if you see her getting a massage on the beach, if she was semi clothed you would think that it's a woman. So if she was dating one of them Bohemian men, hmm? and she never tell them, then that could be problems. And also if she did tell them that she was a woman, that she's transgender, and then somebody found out, depending on who the person is, because she could have dated anybody. Bahamas is so small, isn't it? So she could date anybody. And depending on that person, who they are, and, and depending on how quickly she fell in love, I'm just saying, you know, she fell in love with a big bohemian man. Fall for him island ways and all that. You know, them drink a little bit of rum and them stretch and them, uh, they talk, and, you know. She may have kind of, you know, and something could have happened behind that. You know, too much attention or wanting to be out there and and he went for it. Hmm? That's if that's if Taylor dated men. And that's if she dated out there at all. Okay? I'm just putting it out there. But the fact that her mother didn't say anything about this, or she said it, but maybe to the authorities, but not to the general public, that's a, that's a bit of an issue. It's a bit of an issue. Because people have to know what they're looking for and who they're, who they're looking for. Who is, who is Taylor? We thought she was a she, she's not a she, she's actually he. Um, or trans. Trans. So, so here are some of the comments, okay, in regards to the issue that this, is it non, would you call it non-disclosure? That it, that it present and see it wasn't presented at the beginning it's only been presented now so how anyone could have been shocked with his mother's disclosure is beyond me somebody else said yoga girl said it was the elephant in the room from the beginning and before the mother disclosed it she had referred to her daughter as he in an interview okay so people are saying that mom did say that Taylor was a boy, a, a man. Someone else said, um, it would have been nice to know Taylor was transgender from day one. See, a lot of people didn't know. Also, someone said, also they need to know who they're looking for in detail, male or female. This is a matter of life and death. It's not a matter of politics. Someone else said, she is a transgender female. Yes, that info is important. Someone else said, wow, thank you for the information. You are so correct. This would have been important. Someone else said, why didn't anyone investigate her classmates at the yoga retreat? Dur and Oh, Taylor comes from Chicago, by the way. Okay, she's from Chicago. And the mom and sister flew from Chicago to the Bahamas and they're still there now waiting. Bit like um the guy's mom, the, the British guy who went missing in Tenerife. His mom is still in Tenerife now. Mom, dad, brother, they're all there. Because they ain't found him yet. Okay? I forget his name now, but I did a reading on him. I forget his name. Anyhow. What's his name again? Anyway. During those retreats. You make friends, the yoga retreats. Did she mention she was going out after class? Somebody else called Trish. Trish said, people are hard-headed. They are warning you not to go to these places and people are still going. So what Trish is referring to is travel advisories. Right? 
and how the travel advisories um, warn people about attitudes in particular countries and that type of thing, right? But I have mentioned before on this channel, I think, that sometimes, in my opinion, travel advisories are often politically based and to do with punishing a country's punishing a country and it's kind of like a soft form of sanctions by attacking its tourist industry if it has a thriving tourist industry to attack it is a soft form of sanctions it's a penalty against them so that's why the travel advisory comes up and not necessarily because the country itself is per se dangerous and terrible and you know wretched you shouldn't go there Okay? It's usually because the country has fallen out with one of the countries in the West, like the United States or Europe, in a European country. So then they turn around and they say, don't go because it's dangerous, you'll get killed if you go there. Meanwhile, it's a political spat that they're having. Um, Taylor is, so someone else said, Taylor is a woman, it's none of our business how she identifies or what her past was like. The important thing is to not add vitriol on the internet and hope for the best. We don't know how the investigation is going, going to go or how they will handle it with this information in their hands. Yeah, and I think uh, there is an aspect of truth here in that, you know, suddenly knowing that this person is transgender can throw in a whole lot of assumptions and may make the investigation take a turn which is unhelpful okay um, other person another person called floetic enigma said that if they find a male body and assume it's not the missing woman that they are looking for then yes, it's a problem. Okay? Meaning, they could have already come across Taylor's body, but not known it was her, because they're looking for a woman. See? Uh, so just to reiterate, if they're looking for Taylor, they're actually looking for a man. Okay? And if a body is found, it will be a male body. Okay? So some people say it's not important, it's not important. It's important. It is important. Yeah? Uh, I think I'll do a part two of this. I'll do a part two and I'll do a reading. But um, whew, it's interesting. It's unfortunate. And her parents, her mother and sister are going through hell. You know, is this a is this a murder in paradise thing? What what on earth is this? What what on earth is this? You know, and it's just a reminder to us that whether it be the Caribbean or anywhere else, when you are in a different culture, you have to mind your p's and q's because you don't know who the hell you could offend. And especially if you get into like an intimate relationship with somebody out there in this big old world you may find that they may they might be liberal or open-minded but their people might not be and very often this happens a lot in the UK when it comes to something called honor killings when uh, uh, People from certain communities, sometimes the Pakistani community and other communities, Bangladeshi and so on, where they have particular ideals and somebody acts out, then to, to guard the honor of the family or to get rid of the problem, some kind of honor, you know, act may occur. You know, it's probably a terrible way of me explaining it, but it happens in the UK, honor, honor killings. You know, somebody gets pregnant, somebody dates some outside of the culture, outside of the religion. You know, that person's promised to somebody back home in Pakistan, Bangladesh, uh, or wherever. You know, I'm not saying it to attack uh, Pakistani people because me love them. Me love Pakistani people. Me love them. If, if you've been on this channel, you know that already. I'm partial to them. 
um, out and I would definitely travel to Pakistan as well I, I told you a story about how they helped me when I was in one of these Middle Eastern countries years ago but boy oh boy oh boy they helped me out and didn't stop helping me for like an entire week okay so entire strong they made it strong you know they they really 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 assisted me and supported me so I can't say one bad word about um, Pakistanis but I'm just saying in some cultures different different cultures, some of them African culture as well you know some of them look a look a look a place East Africa around the place your, your East Africa so get me. let me eat my food chill but yeah what happened what's happened with uh, Taylor well we don't know what's happened I come back with a part two, Ashley. Yes.